All right, we're going to look at utility maximization, but this time with a corner solution. We have a utility function, a quasi-linear utility function, that may lead to a corner solution versus an interior solution. So here's the utility function, and consumer has income of $3, price of good X is $1, price of good Y is $1, forming the budget constraint. Uh, income is $3 equals the price of good X times units of good X. So since the price of good X is $1, that don't have to show that. And then we have the price of good Y times units of good Y. And again, price of good Y is $1. So budget constraint simplifies down to something like this. To get the marginal utility of good X, we're going to take the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good X, bringing the one half down in front, one half times Four is two, and then x raised to the one half power minus one leaves us x raised to the minus one half power. Marginal utility of good y, we're just going to get one. Utility maximization requires that the marginal utility per dollar is equal across all goods. So here's our utility maximization condition, and now I'm just going to make some substitutions into that. So after making our substitutions, uh, I'm now going to simplify. The first thing I do is I take this x to the minus one-half power, and I bring that into the denominator. Now I'm going to multiply both sides through by the square root of x. That gives us this. To get rid of that one-half, we're going to square both sides, and x equals 4. Plugging x equals 4 into our budget constraint, we get y equals minus 1. And the minus 1 indicates we have a corner solution. So which good should we spend all our money on, good X or good Y? That's what we're going to find out now. If we spent all our $3 of income on good X, the consumer could afford 3 units of good X. All I did was take the income and divide it by the price of good X. Now I'm going to evaluate the utility function uh, in the situation where we spend, again, all our money on good X. So plugging 3 in for x, that's how many units we can afford if we spent all our money on good x, and y is 0, we get utility of 6.93. If we spend all our money on good y, we could afford 3 units of good y, just the income divided by the price of good y. So plugging in 3 units of y into the utility function and simplifying, utility equals 3. So in this case, we get more utility if we spend all our money on good x than good y. So that will lead to our solution where we're going to buy 3 units of good x and no units of good y. Hope you found this video helpful.